it was the series that defined a generation. Welcome to Watch Mojo UK, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 skins moments. Before we begin, if you enjoy this video, be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we've gathered the greatest skin scenes and those moments that made us laugh, cry, and want to run a riot. Take Number 10, Sid breaks down. Sorry, the user has blocked your call. <sighs> Idiot. <sighs> By season two, Sid's a lost soul, and Tony has plenty of his own issues to worry over. But when Sid wakes to find his dad has died in his armchair, it all gets too much. Dad? After keeping the death a secret at college, he eventually breaks down with Tony at a Crystal Castles gig. <laughs> Sid and Tony eventually revisit the body, lighting up one of Sid's dad's cigarettes, for a scene steeped in drama and a moment of pure poignancy. He was so happy. My mum. Oh, Christ. Number nine, the ace of spades. The game is on, Freddy. You wanna play? It didn't take long for James Cook to introduce himself, did it? The first episode of season 3 sees him rattle through Effie's band in school checklist with apparent ease and with a little help from Sid. Someone's left their shit in here. But episode 2 sees Cook truly make his arrival, swigging spirits in the streets on his way to the pub to celebrate his 17th birthday. And what better soundtrack than Motorhead? He doesn't do things by halves, this lad. Number eight, Emily comes out. I just spent an hour downstairs trying to convince mum that you made it all up. That's great. Because you have. What? You've just conjured up this thing with Naomi because, I don't know, maybe you're jealous of me. The tension between the twins, Katie and Emily, is a running theme throughout season three and four. But here's where it boils over. So tell me. It wasn't a boy. There, see, so let's just it was a girl. With Katie refusing to accept Emily's relationship with Naomi, even when her sister tries to explain it to her family, the pair come to blows at the school dance. While a jeering crowd watches on, Emily stops herself moments before delivering a knockout shot, and they appear to reconcile after an emotional and exhausted speech. I like girls. No. I like a girl. No. I love her. Number seven, it's got to get bad before it gets good. I want it good now, but it's gotta get bad before it gets good. That's what you say. It's gotta get bad before it gets good. See, stay with me. At the launch of season two, things are a little bleak following Tony's accident. And in this musical montage, we see Maxie dance his way across a rooftop while everyone else comes to terms with the events of last series. Put your faith in me, then wait patiently. There's Tony struggling to write his own name, Michelle breaking down in the shower, and Sid pondering his friend's stretch in hospital. All in, it's a powerful season opener which proved that Skins wasn't a one-hit wonder, and that the characters' stories were very far from over. Number six, Sid goes to New York. So, three of us in the car together again. Yeah. We've all seen each other naked, which is nice. To one of our final moments with the original cast and an emotional parting of ways for Sid and Tony. They stood outside the airport with Tony having just booked Sid on a flight to New York so that he can finally follow Cassie. This is it. Right. It's a little awkward and neither of them says a lot, but they don't have to. Tony's final words to Sid are some of the most memorable lines in the entire series, signalling the end of an era. Get rid of the hat. It makes you look retarded. Number five, Effie's overdose. Effie. Next, a turning point for Tony, who, having manipulated the breakup between Josh and Michelle, finds himself on the wrong end of a twisted revenge mission. I'm looking for my sister. Oh, she's over there. 
Searching for Effie, Tony finds his sister has overdosed at a rave and tries to get help, but Josh stands in his way and an intense confrontation follows. Is this about Michelle? You really think Michelle's worth this? Oh, please, I'm so sorry. I can't get one out. I can't. I keep going soft. But just when the situation seems hopeless, the ever faithful Sid shows up with a ride to A and E. Tony, what's happened? Number four, Naomi's love for Emily. I'm with you. I feel like I'm a better person. The will they, won't they, Emily and Naomi romance was an ongoing storyline for the second generation, with huge high points and massive lows. But here's where Naomi puts an end to the fighting and the confusion with a heartfelt explanation to Emily and everyone else. I loved you from the first time I saw you. I think I was 12. We've already seen the issues the relationship raises with Emily's sister, but after this scene, there's no doubt that Naomi is genuine. I didn't want to be a slave to the way I feel about you. <laughs> Can you understand? Number three, I'm Katie Fitch. Sweetheart, I've run out of bags. You'll need to run along and go get some more. One, I'm not your f***ing maid. Two, I don't work for you, so you'll have to go and get your own bags, sweetheart. Another pivotal scene, and this time it's Katie who seems headed in a new direction as viewers find themselves rooting for the other Fitch twin for once. First, she finds out that she can't have children. Catherine, the menopause prevents you from ovulating, which means you won't be able to conceive babies. What? Ever? And then she finds trouble at a club. But there's only one winner here, and Katie catches her adversary square in the face before delivering this ever-quotable line. Sure, she ends up getting sacked for the outburst, but it was worth it. Number two, Chris's funeral. I've been thinking about what Chris would have wanted me to say today. The advice he'd give me. A send off for Chris, but also serving as one of the last times we see the first generation together, today's runner up is a real tearjerker. The gang are banned from attending the funeral, but that doesn't stop them, and Tony and Sid promptly steal Chris's coffin, taking it for a spin through Bristol. Shit. Shit. It's him. It's him. <laughs> And when it's time for the actual service, they watch from a hilltop with an alternative eulogy and fireworks to boot. Because the thing about Chris was, he said yes. He said yes to everything. He loved everyone. It's what Chris would have wanted. Number one, Tony's accident. Hello, Tony. Joe? What? Having made the first steps toward changing for the better, Tony looked to be ending the first series on a high, but then everything changed in an instant. He's partway through declaring his love for Michelle when his hunt for good phone signal becomes a life-changing accident. The truth is, I love you. Ending on a monumental cliffhanger, the show then takes a bold but brilliant artistic deviation, with Sid leading a rendition of Cat Stevens' Wild World. Now that I've lost everything to you, you say you wanna start something new. What a finish. Ooh, baby, baby, it's a wild world. It's hard to get by, keep on a smile. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo UK and subscribe for more great content.